in our, you could say, as compass roadmaps for our inner work. So we're privileged to have a few people come and join us to show us a few road marks from what they have been able to work with, perceive, study, etc. We've been very lucky that the same, many of the same people, lecturers, if you want to call that, I would say, those who help us work have joined us for the last four years. This is our fourth year, as many of you know. 2009, we started the first play. 11, 2011, the second. Last year, the third. We're now on the fourth. And next year, we take the plunge to do all four. Yes. <laughs> said that all education, and he said that really, all education is self-education. That's very powerful. It's not just children, it's mm -hmm. all of us. We are self-educating. We are, it is our, you, a teacher can prepare the conditions for learning for the children, but if the children don't take it up, can't learn. And it's the same with us. It's our inner impulse to learn that is what is enabling us to learn. Uh, I mean, I'm hoping all these seats are taken so they can't move anywhere. Well, it, it, let us hope. Are, are, you, seeing are you recording me or photographing me? I will go get the gels. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can. Wow, what a handsome couple. <laughs> uh, first of all, maybe you can tell me your name, Laurie. I'm Laurie Porto Carrero, and I'm playing Maria in the mystery dramas. There we go. Okay, and here we go. With... I'm Patrick Nielsen, and I'm playing Strader in the mystery dramas. Wow, what a challenge. So here we are at uh, the Rose Hall in the Eurythmy Room. Mm -hmm. at, um, the Green Meadow Waldorf School. And maybe the first thing that you can do is give me a name. Well, I'm Ted McGlone, and I play the character of Romanus here in the mystery dramas, now okay. in 2000. Well, it looks like we've got more company. Uh, maybe we'll just pan over and see who is this young fellow? Can oh, you maybe I'm, um, tell Edward me? Edward Schult, and I'm playing the manager. Oh, okay. If I entered in a realm that drew near mysticism, then I would surely need that guidance that that man alone could offer me who won my confidence through my own being able to fully comprehend his character. Here we are in Brookside, in Chestnut Ridge, Spring Valley, New York. And uh, maybe the first thing you can do is uh, tell me your name. <laughs> I'm Glenn Williamson. As, as, as though I wouldn't know, of course yes. I know. <laughs> for, for the audience. And, yes. yes, and of course, yeah. we are in a very special place and uh, in very cir special circumstances. So, what I'd like you to do in, first. In the midst of the fourth mystery drama here exactly. in Spring Valley. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, maybe you can say which role you're playing. I'm playing Johannes, Johannes Tomasius. Okay, here we are with maybe you can tell me a name first. I'm Barbara Reynolds, I am the director and producer of the mystery dramas, together with the threefold mystery drama group. Mm -hmm. In this production, we have 38 people helping out artists, actors, musicians, eurythmists, and te 
tech people. Tech people. We need those. We absolutely need them. And we I'd, would love to have more of them. <laughs> I, I talked to your tech uh, fellow, the one upstairs in the, in the booth. Matthew what? Mesner. Can you say his name again? Matthew Mesner. Yeah, he's... He well, here we are in the Green Meadow Water School in Spring Valley, New York, or rather Chestnut Ridge. And uh, maybe the first thing that you can do is tell me your name. I'm Laura. Laura Langford Schnur. Okay. And uh, tell me your connection to the mystery play first. Well, I first became introduced to them back in 98, even before, because Barbara Reynolds was conducting here in um, this uh, area. Whose thoughts that in far distant days on earth revealed themselves to me so well. In this domain, you are within my power. The souls whom you are seeking, seek you too. Two souls are drawing near the penitent. And maybe what we can do to start with is maybe you can share your name. My name is Gerald Carnell. Okay. And uh, maybe you can also tell me what you do. I'm a physician at the Fellowship Community in Spring Valley. Fellowship Community is a multi-generational care facility for the aged. We have co-workers, we have cows, we have sheep, we have chickens, and quite a few elderly. And an orchard? and an orchard, and uh, we try to have a lively community life. And that's the experience, really, uh -huh. that these mystery dramas, all four of them, really are about oneself in relationship to other human beings. Yeah. And I, I can see the mystery dramas really as an answer to all of our social and interpersonal difficulties even so far as they also give a, a possibility of a direction uh -huh. and really enhancing one's wisdom of life and wisdom of the human being. So you might almost say Rudolf Steiner gave this to point out what the challenges are in living and where there are potential solutions and if there aren't, how to bear the problems. And, uh, of course, this last play, The Soul's Awakening, is about uh, a, a furniture factory right. that actually didn't happen then. Uh, I mean, somehow the well, people the, that the wanted to... The further development. The further development. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, as you can see, I mean, you have a fellowship that has arisen out of Yes, but I of mean, the, model. the same kind of issues that you see in the mystery dramas you see in a community like the Fellowship. Right. Very similar. Yeah, yeah. So in other words, it's a life drama. It's a life drama. There we go. Yeah. Well, I really do thank you, Gerald. <laughs> okay. I'm glad that you took a few minutes to talk to us. Okay, thanks. Thank you. going on. Mm -hmm. And maybe how we can start is maybe you can tell me your name. Mark Levine. Okay.
Mark, uh, of course, I've known you for many years, mm. but uh, the people on the internet haven't. No, quite. Uh, some of them haven't. <laughs> and uh, so uh, what I'd like to do is see where the turning points were in your life. How did you come to the point where you are now? In other words, of course, and mention along the way all the kind of wonderful things that you've done, of course, <laughs> and the wonderful things you're going to be doing. So, mm. all right, so. How much time do we have? <laughs> we, we, ha have we have, we have, have until 7.30. <laughs> suffers agonies of doubt. A man who often shrewdly and with, with hatred for all our false strivings was able to show him that his machine embodies a bad mistake, that it will always be unworkable and not just because of outer hindrances. And these things correctly when they are grasped exactly in the spirit. It was this morning, I could feel myself quite close to a true mystic solemn mood. The senses silent, memory silent too. From his words, flamed forth the mighty force that this worked on powerfully into my soul. Before that, must be important to me, even if I cannot follow it with understanding. It did not arise alone from outward sources, but that the inner flaws of my own thoughts were obstacles to check my plan's success. I saw again that picture I described to you not long ago. All right. Well, here we are at the Threefold Auditorium in Spring Valley, New York. And who are we with? Maybe you can tell me your name first. Herbert Hawkins. Okay, are you Herbert O? I am Herbert O. Herbert oh, okay. Orland Hawkins. Okay, because there seem to be more than There's one. There's my father, Herbert H. Hawkins. Okay, well maybe we can start with him. <laughs> how did this happen? I mean, how did you come about? How did you pick somebody like that? Well, my parents met at Cornell University. Uh -huh. <laughs> Talk to Sam a lot like she's a friend of mine. We are in a very beautiful room with Michael Howard's work. And uh, 
we are here with a very special person, not from the USA, but from the UK. So maybe the first thing that you can do is give me a name. Well, my name is Matthew Dexter, although that is my stage name. Mm -hmm. And the original name that I was given by my parents is Matthijs Dijkstra, because I come from Holland. The part that I played was uh, Professor Capazius. Um, he is a historian and um, he's not a very specialized historian. He likes to study the, the great developments in history. Um, he's a bit like Arnold Toynbee who um, likes to study whole civilizations, how they develop and how they decline. 